time for romance. History is full of great lovers. Antony and Cleopatra, Romeo and Juliet, David Frost and himself. <laughs> and since time immemorial, in the eyes of the girl, the man is always a hero. Or is he? For years I've dreamt of the perfect lover. I'd surely know him when he came along. There'd come a day when I'd discover a man who was handsome, clever, and strong. Strong as a lion, tall as a tree. A man who would capture and dominate me. But along came Jim, an ordinary guy. You'd never notice him if he went by with his ordinary face, his ordinary ways. The kind of man you always meet on ordinary days. But I love him, yes, I love him, cause he's just my Jim. I remember. I remember when I first met Jim. It was at a party. He didn't have much to say for himself that night, but I realized later he wasn't shy, just dull. <laughs> but every morning, every morning when I hear the round, masculine tones of his first belch, <laughs> and watch him, watch him, scratching his dandruff into the cornflakes bowl. <laughs> well. Ah, oh, yes, I know. He's just my Jim. Dim, old Jim. Goodness only knows what made me notice him. It's surely not his looks. It's surely not his clothes. It's surely not the funny baby way he picks his nose. But I love him. Because he's just my Jim. And now, here is the news. I'm sorry, I'll read that again. Here are the news.